So now we're going to look at something called 1825 heat nitai and the 1825 two dimensions to define a rectangular arch wire and then the heat activated because it's alloyed with copper. When you take it out of the package it feels kind of like a dead soft wire in that you can bend it. You can bend it which is different than the nitai that we just looked at in the round nitai versions. And the, the part about the heat activated nitai, when you chill it you can see there's ice water here on one side and then there's warm water on another side. When you chill it in ice water like that it changes phase and it turns into a dead soft wire. Then you can deflect it strongly into severely malpositioned teeth such as this and it stays right there and exerts no force. Then you can tie it in easily and then as soon as the lips and the tongue touch the wire again when you are finished with the tie-in you can see how it goes right back to its original arch form exerting the ideal force to derotate, excuse me, to torque teeth and to move them into the final position. So again, it'll happen many, many times. So the next month you can re-chill the wire using a chill pen or ice. And then again, you can deflect it into poorly positioned teeth, tie it in easily. And then as soon as you let the lip touch it again, it turns right back into a arch form shape that it was before.